Right then, so I will be back. I've spotted the campsites. Um, it's too far for me to go just to see Lorna Dunes Church today. I've still got a long hike back. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm just hoping. I'm going to Brendan. Then water meat. There might be something called Rockford as well. I don't know. It is a hike though. But whether it's easier this way, I don't know. It's going back to Lynmouth. Down through the valleys. I don't particularly want to follow the Connery's route though. Because that takes you in and out of the combs and through woods and all sorts of... It takes you on a sort of giant mystery tour. Um, so that you see everything. But basically, it takes you long. It's a long route. If you just really want to get to A to B. On a day when you've done already done a lot. I've got no idea if it's going to make me go down there in a minute or what. I don't know. I don't know. I just hope there's some signs. I've got no idea. All I know is there's streams. And um, today you should be able to cross. Sometimes they're a bit deep and you might have to take your shoes off. Tomorrow, if I do this walk today, frees up a lot of time um, for exploring the Glynn Valley where the 1952 disaster happened. You have to pay £10 to get in, um, but then it's got all the history and everything like that apparently. So, from that point of view, I would do it. It was the year I was born, that disaster people were killed by the flooding it's very warm this is July the 21st 2020 I think it's the first time I've mentioned um, the date today you've got to be careful it can be slippery so this is all Dune Valley country around here and colleges walk and everything and there's the, I just walked along that path. I'm just going to be careful here, it looks a bit steep. Today was supposed to be the big walk, even if I don't get back to 10. I've got a pot noodle. I've got a whole bag of cheese that I'm going to have to eat. There might even be a chip shop open, who knows. I'm not having a house meal tonight. They fed me well though. That was a big meal. They gave me, it was so expensive, £12.50. I don't know how much a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if half a lager cost a fiver. That's probably going to cost me 20 quid for that meal. But I treated myself to one meal. I've got loads of food in my bag. I've got cake, chocolate, crisps. All sorts of crisps, tomatoes, cheese. Um, I don't feel hungry. I haven't got that famished feel yet. I don't feel the need for cheese yet. Uh, I've deliberately kept off it. Um, because um, it gives me indigestion. But I will have some eventually. Anyway, we're going down into a coombe now. Heading for a place called Brendan. I'm hoping it's going to be signposted so I can get back to Lynmouth without too much worry. Um, I will ask people en route. And there's people I know that were out earlier might be coming back this way in a minute. And they've done well. But then again, they weren't going all the way to Lynmouth. They weren't going to Lynmouth. I've even got a bottle of wine out in my drawer. A bottle of wine for when I get back because I reckon I deserve it. That looks like these people. Over in it. Right folks, I just met a couple I met earlier on the route. 
who looked alarmed to think I've still got all that way to go. But they said I've got the easier route um, than coming up this way. They seemed to think this was the better route. So I keep looking out. They said follow the valley, just keep to the valley. Now they said it wasn't signposted, but the thing is, if you look, some of the signposts are taken down all the time. And you've got um, footpath County Gate, footpath Brendan. Well, to be quite honest, how does that work? It should be like that, shouldn't it? Okay, so that should, in theory, that should be up there. There we go. No, to me it's an evening walk now. Once I get past Brendan, I think I'll be... I feel like I'm getting somewhere, because some of the things I've read about that, it's like, oh no, you can't get through Brendan. The path stops, there's no signs. Um, people do sc scare you a bit. Do you reckon I end up over there? No, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to have a cooked breakfast tomorrow morning. I'm having a full English. I mean, I had thought about turning back, hadn't I? Do you know what I mean? I had thought about turning back. They said there's no signposts. Footpath. Shit, so that's signposted. Over a little bridge, over a bubbling brook. That's the sign. See those yellow signs? If you see a pole with yellow on it, you know you're doing all right. Now they've come this way because they went to, they were doing a, a small route near Countersbury, I think, and down. Now I presume, see, see how it's not signposted here? You have to assume, I think, that you go through this gate. Do you know what I mean? But some people probably think, no, you go down there. Do you know what I mean? This is where it goes wrong. I presume you go through here. But it could be that you've got to go down there. What would you think? Why have a gate there if people aren't going to come through it? It looks... Like that, doesn't it? Is it videoing? Right, so everybody, I'm on this walk on the 21st of July 2020 on a beautiful, beautiful summer's day, and it really, really is beautiful. It couldn't have worked out better for me, to tell the truth those people would be walking along that path now that I've just been talking to um, who I met earlier in the walk <sighs> cows let's hope you, this is the route cows I don't normally go in fields with cows. I would have thought so, because look, there's um, another gate there. It's more arable, this bit, isn't it? No, I didn't do or never got to it. There are no yellow posts. That's interesting. I presume 
we now go through here, I presume. Why do they stop the posts? Um, yeah, they're right up there now. Why do they stop labelling? Do you think it's the farmers? I mean, I found that post down, didn't I? I would have thought this was the way because that is the steps. Follow the valley, the Lorna Dune Valley. So like I said, there are stressful points sometimes. Uh, when there's a new route especially, and ambiguous signs or no signs, and you're hot and you're tired, you're still enjoying it all, but it doesn't take much to make you feel a bit vulnerable. That's what I always think of it as, vulnerable. how far Brendan is. I didn't sort of put down a... I can imagine words worse than that walking along here though. Sitting under that tree. It's a perfect place. I bet everyone sits there on the banks. Don't they? I bet everyone sits here. Gonna take a photo folks.